is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that sounds good to me. You know, if you don't like this stream, fine, come back next one, and you'll probably end up liking what's there, all right? So, four hours of more chill Dragon Quest XI gameplay here today. We'll see where the story goes. I'm excited. I hope that you guys will hang out with me. Even if you don't like JRPGs, give it a shot and hang out with me. You know, talk with me during the game. Let's have some fun. Let's have some discussions. Let's get some interesting stuff going rather than just focusing on the game. That's the cool thing about being an interactive streamer is we, I have the ability to do that. It's not like where I used to just focus hyper-focused on the game. And if there's not a lot going on, you know, it's boring. No, we have the ability to make this fun. So I hope you guys will try to talk to me during the streams. You know, a few times last week, people basically got... Uh, sidetracked and derailing kind of the stream chat, in which case if I'm playing the game and then I come back to the stream chat I want to talk to you guys, and you guys are talking about stuff I have no idea what you're talking about. You know what I mean? If you don't keep me in the loop, it's not necessarily going to be an entertaining stream versus if we keep discussions and fun stuff going back and forth with interactivity, I think we will. It will be a fun stream. Okay? Sound good? Um, you know, it's not like, and that's the thing. Some people are like, oh, well, Phil... Will Phil only read the chat if someone cheers, subs, or tips? No, I always read the chat and I try to interact with you guys. Silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way and hopefully you'll believe it even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. A lot of the times last week when I was playing this game, I'd go back, people would be talking about stuff in like Europe. I'm like, I don't know anything about that, you know? Let's try to focus in on things that we can actually interact in and have fun uh, discussions about, okay? And then on Friday, I'm still on the fence. I'm still debating it about if I'm going to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It seems like, again, my viewing audience is split 50-50. Like, 50% of the people are like, yeah, we're interested in seeing you play it, play it. And the other 50% are like, no, don't. We've heard that it's bad. The reviews say it's lackluster. The story's terrible and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of, uh, you know, on the fence about everything. I don't know what to do with the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I don't. I'm open to people sending me stuff. I'm still thinking about it. I'm going to take the whole week to, to, to judge. And then by the end of the week, I'll try to figure it out. Okay? I'm still on the fence. Like, I think I, I'm I am interested in playing it. I'm just honest, being honest with you guys. I'm nervous that I'm going to get this game. We'll play it twice. And by the second stream, everyone's bored. It's one of these streams where people don't want to watch the game and they're instead complaining constantly the game's boring and they're not engaging with me and they're disconnecting with me. I'm open to people sending me stuff. I may be, I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. And in general, the streams are just not very good, especially if it's a long game like Spider-Man is. Like, let's say it's 20, 30 hours, right? Now you're talking a game that I have to do main streams for, right, in order to complete it, or else it's going to be going on way too long, but no one's paying any attention and engaging. That's going to be terrible, especially now. I really, I mean, being honest with you guys, <clears throat> this summer was awesome. You were very supportive here on stream, so thank you for that. You guys are the reason why I'm still here right now, and you're the reason why my girlfriend Kat was able to move in last month. And if you want to see me continue to be successful and keep doing this for a living, you got to support in other ways. You know, whether it's watching the streams and cheering, subbing, and tipping while I'm here on Twitch, or pledging to my Patreon, or buying something for my Teespring, you know, no matter what it might be. Um, I'm going to need that support right now more than ever. I can't keep, I can't keep constantly when stuff like this crap happens. I can't constantly have to keep coming back to you guys and saying help i want you to watch what i do on a daily basis if you're part of a cult or a mob or this weird group of people who blindly now have to support everything i do and it's part of your duty to daily come out oh i have to do you know every single day i have to be, support phil and the day that i don't support phil is a day that i failed because i was part of this the, the you know the bro army or whatever and now i wasn't there for phil the bottom line is guys 
I view all of you as independent, intellectual, intelligent individuals who have actively chosen to come on my streams, watch my stuff, and have fun with me. You know what I stand for. You know the kind of person I am. You enjoy either my personality or the way I play games or the rage or, or whatever. Whatever it may be. You like me for some reason. And you're here to have a good time. And that's all I care about. I don't need to create some kind of a weird mob mentality. That's disgusting. Oh my god. Ah! Oh! Oh! No, that's disgusting. Some disgusting individual who constantly is doing terrible things, right? Disgusting beggar. That shit is sick. In my opinion, that shit's sick. What that is, that's a streamer or a YouTuber who's literally creating a brainwashing style mentality to try to get more money. That's what that is. All right, which is exactly what it is. It creates a cultish mob mentality that people need to now blindly support someone because they're part of a group. The, the, the two summer months that I streamed were some of the best I've ever had on Twitch. And I need to try to keep that momentum up. Because if I don't, with all the YouTube issues and the fact that I'm making almost no money on YouTube, I don't know how I'm going to keep go doing this. You know, being honest with you guys. <clears throat> Moving forward, I need to keep the momentum I have. I need to keep you guys engaged and having fun. And watching the streams and, you know, being honest, you know, contributing in various ways. Whether it's Patreon or Teespring or, you know, interacting during the streams with cheer subs and tips and the like. And need to keep that going. And if I'm playing a game that you guys don't like and are bored with all the time, like, like Tomb Raider seems like it would be, I don't know how that's going to work. You see what I mean? Um, I, have to, I have to think of everything in a way that's... Not only me enjoying and playing a video game, but also keeping you guys engaged and keeping a business running. You know, I'll be I'll be honest again. Every day is like, man, I gotta play another game offline. It's gonna be me grinding through this fucking game, not having to do all this commentary on the game solely and nothing, right? And it gets boring. It does. After a while, you definitely get to the point where it feels like more like you just got to get through this game to get to the next one so people will watch rather than having fun with the games. The only way I could see myself making out going back to Twitch is if I went over there and either, number one, I destroyed my YouTube business overnight. Just fuck it. Fuck DSP Gaming and fuck all that. I'm just going to be a professional Twitch streamer from now on. And I need a couple thousand people to come over with me daily and to all sub to me. And I'll just talk to you all day and we'll shoot this shit while I pretend that I'm caring about the game that I'm playing when I really don't. And that'll be me. And that'll be the end of my YouTube eight years of career. career and instead I'll be a, a Twitch streamer. Facial reactions to that stuff is boring. And that's kind of a, a, a tough balance for me. Okay, especially now, you know, this is kind of a dilemma I have. Do I play a game that I don't know if it's going to perform well or not? You know, so October, November, I don't think we're going to have any issue. What I'm nervous about is this month, the rest of this month. You know, if Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a dud and everything else, like, for example, I know Dragon Quest is not going to bring out a lot of viewers. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. So there's a guy, his name is Mr. Views years ago. I used to say, I don't want to be Mr. Views. I don't want to be all about the views. But in, in reality, a lot of the things on YouTube used to be about the views. I just know it's going to be you guys, the more hardcore viewers who love everything I do and you want to just chill with me who are going to be coming out for Dragon Quest. It's not necessarily going to be the big mainstream people who come out for the big hype games, right? So I already know that. I already know Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations isn't going to bring in a lot of viewers. I know that for a fact. So... Really, what's going to bring in people the rest of this month? I do think that, like, the 10-year retrospective event, that will bring in viewers. I do believe that. Um, but outside of that, you know, something else to kind of reinvigorate people. So I'm hoping maybe it's Tomb Raider. I don't know. All right. But anyway, I'm still on the fence about this. I'm, I'm going to keep mulling it over in my head. I'll be honest, the $60 price tag for Tomb Raider is one of the things that's keeping me away from it because I'm like, man, I got to drop 60 bucks. You know, I'm trying I'm trying to raise money this, this week via tips to pay bills, and now I got to drop 60 bucks to buy a game that I might not, that no, people might not like. You see what I mean? I'm open to people sending me stuff. So it's a dilemma for me. This is totally different. In the past, you know, years ago, I used to have actual credit, and I could be like, ah, I can have unlimited funds to buy whatever I need. I don't have that anymore. You know, now everything's very tight, and I got to you know, pick and choose what I play, and I got nickel and dime everything, and that's kind of how, how I'm a situation I'm in right now, so. Help! 
save the pig. <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. This is Piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Help! What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Help! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.